1776. The year saw the birth of a new nation. The Founding Fathers, Continental Congress, and Declaration of Independence all marked a turning point in American history on the road to the emergence of the United States of America. But while most textbooks explore the political changes the year oversaw, Pulitzer Prize-winning author David McCulloch explores in his book, 1776, a different perspective on the events that occurred during the pivotal year. From battle strategies to the personal lives of major generals, 1776 offers an intimate look into the military aspects of the Revolutionary War while displaying the Patriots' close touch with defeat and renewed success throughout the course of the crucial year. Throughout the detailed portrayal of events during the year, there lies an underlying message that McCulloch attempts to prove. 1776 acted as the most dramatic year during the Revolutionary War in which the outstanding leadership of George Washington, the Continental Army's perseverance and fight for freedom, and genuine luck and good fortune worked together to overcome the difficulties and disadvantages of warfare and provided the key to the unexpected victory for the American Patriots. Essentially, he attempts to point to the importance of the year in more than just a political aspect by dwelling on the military strengths and events along with the morale of the army and its leaders. Due to the battle facts, vivid details, and the engaging storyline McCulloch uses, it becomes clear that he intends for his audience to be students themselves. The facts and the evidence he provides allows the student to learn much about the events that occurred during the year. McCulloch displays his views through his extensive use of details from battle plans to personal accounts, letters, and even journal entries. His use of these primary and secondary sources of evidence contribute to the strength, reliability, and effectiveness of his argument. In order to carry across his main idea to his readers, the author mainly uses deductive reasoning. He places forward a variety of facts from which he draws his conclusions and develops the major premise of his book. Similarly, the organization of the book follows a clear chronological order beginning from the very end of 1775 to the very beginning of 1777. McCulloch highlights the major events that occurred while still paying close attention to the minor events in between. This organization contributes to his argument by establishing an easy to follow layout this adding to the clarity of his book as a whole. McCulloch successfully highlights the change in fighting for the guarantee of English rights to the fight for independence in the course of simply a year. He begins his book by retelling Britain's significant losses at the Battle of Bunker Hill, then moves into the events of 1777. He emphasizes the military details, placing special focus on the battles at Dorchester Heights, Long Island, and Trenton, and explores the major generals on both the Patriot and British side. At the Battle of Dorchester Heights, McCulloch highlights how the unexpected snowfall prevented British General Howe from attacking thus allowing the rebels to gain victory and offers it as evidence to how sheer luck played a role into the outcome of the war. McCulloch then draws attention to the defeat, losses, and surrenders at Brooklyn, Kipps Bay, White Plains, Fort Washington, and Fort Lee. These defeats occurred due to the flaws in the firmness of General Washington, poor strategy, and simply genuine disadvantage. These numerous defeats in a single year display how much occurred over the course of 1776 and how close the Patriots came to failing at the very beginning of their cause. While focusing on military endeavors, he also successfully dwells into the personal sides of major generals in both the Continental and British camps. He places his primary focus on the well-respected General George Washington. McCulloch portrays him as an elegant and precise man who remains inexperienced in his tasks but determined to do his best to lead his nation to success. He displays the life of Washington and highlights their generals K. 
character and charming appeals. Under the shadow of Washington, McCulloch also provides much detail into Generals Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox. He displays them as self-educated, brave, determined men who take on the responsibility of leading their troops. This acts as evidence to support his claim of how the determination of the men led to the eventual Patriot victory. On the other hand, McCulloch dips into the British side by displaying the personality and viewpoints of General William Howe, an intelligent and well-educated man. McCulloch provides background information on these men, bringing the war to more of a personal level. He describes events and occurrences from both the side of Washington and Howe, thus adding variety into the book and allowing the reader to experience, in effect, both sides of the war. In addition, McCulloch effectively highlights the difficulties the Continental Army faced during the war. He dwells on the disease, desertions, disillusionment, and inexperience the army suffered from, while displaying the strength of the British Army in their use of Hessian soldiers. At one point, he displays how General Greene's sickness with smallpox prevented the Patriots from achieving a victory near the Jamaica Pass, thus displaying that small factors had major impacts in the war. Towards the end, McCulloch displays the revival and triumph of the Continental Army at the battles of Trenton and Princeton, which he suggests lays the stepping stones for the Patriots' eventual success in the war. McCulloch successfully carries across an effective argument. The argument remains valid due to the extensive use of details and fact which work together to add to the strength of his claim. He points out how those drastic setbacks were overcome with the aid of Washington's leadership, the determination of the men, and the good fortune that played into their cause. His overall portrayal of the events in 1776, from fighting for liberty to fighting for freedom, emphasized the importance of the year in the Revolutionary War. Most Americans know the story of the American Revolution. Thus, it becomes fairly easy to bore someone who does not have much interest in the topic. However, McCulloch delivers history almost like a story. He remains fairly effective in keeping the book moving through each battle and event by giving it an appealing aspect. His inclusion of personal accounts and journal entries from the men in the war add an even more intimate feel into the reality of the Revolutionary War. For example, McCulloch often includes direct quotes from soldiers and generals writing home to their wives. At one point, soldier Joseph Reed describes his experiences in the war while assuring his wife that the war seems to be going well and that there is nothing to worry about while in reality, the Continental Army suffers striking defeats. This provides more interesting outlooks into the war while it allows the reader to stay connected to the events occurring on a personal basis. Throughout his book, McCulloch holds little bias towards the subject. He displays both the Patriots and the British side on events and even describes the flaws in General Washington's character. He points out how Washington's indecision at New York and Long Island cost the rebels significant battles, such as the Battle of Brooklyn and the Battle of Long Island. However, due to the fact that McCulloch is an American historian, he may hold a slight bias towards the subject. He expresses his bias towards the Patriots by placing more emphasis on their pursuits and viewpoints rather than the British Army. While the narrow time frame of 1776 offers much insight and details into the event of the particular year, it proves to be a limitation for the book. The book also only offers a military and personal perspective on events 
while barely touching any political aspects of the year, thus displaying another major limitation. The book would remain ideal for students researching the military endeavors during the year 1776, yet would prove to be limiting when researching the entirety and context of the Revolutionary War. 1776 is a widely acclaimed book. Many publishers and magazines, such as Newsweek, The Wall Street Journal, and The New York Times, praise it for its detail and sense of drama. 1776 displays the journey of the Patriots throughout the course of a single year, from the success to the failures, from the fear to the courage, from the uncertainness to the determination, while providing a new perspective onto the events of the pivotal year, thus making the book one all students should consider reading. Join hand in hand, brave Americans all, and rouse your bold hearts at fair liberty's call. No tyrannous sack shall suppress your just claim, or stain with dishonor America's name.